So you want to run highly profitable Google ads for your online store, but you keep getting these disapprovals, these warnings from Google Merchant Center saying that you don't have a GTIN or UPC code for your products. The purpose of this video today is to show you what are GTIN and UPC codes and why they are so crucial for your Google Ads strategy. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into the slides. What are GTIN slash UPC codes? GTIN codes are global trade ID numbers. GTINs are unique identifiers that Google uses to know exactly what your products are. If you sell wallets, for example, let's say that you have a wallet store, simply uploading your product feed, your catalog, to Merchant Center with the name wallet on the title, for example, won't be enough for Google to know each particular piece of information about your catalog. So the role of the GTIN code is to provide Google with the specifics of your product, such as color, condition, target gender, place of manufacture, category, etc. And these codes are publicly available in a global database. So as I'm going to show you right now, for example, you can look barcode look up the website. If you paste your, your barcodes there, the number that comes right below your barcode product, your uh, the barcodes of your products, you're going to see that all the information is going to be there. That's a publicly available database and there's a whole website. Uh, the, the, the owner of this code pretty much the, the, the the company that created all of this uh, system for categorizing products. I'm going to leave the link in the description. But as you can see, you can f you can see all the information about your products, and this is publicly available. Now, why these codes are so important, and why does that correlate with it being a global database? JTIN codes are fundamentally how Google optimizes your product feed campaigns. So for example. You have your performance max campaigns, you have your shopping campaigns, you have your dynamic display remarketing campaigns. By knowing what your product is exactly in this global database, the algorithm shows your ads on relevant searches. Now, here's the most interesting part. Google will not only look at your account when optimizing your ads, but also all other advertisers worldwide with the same category or type of product when optimizing your campaigns. So let that sit for a second there because now you have campaigns not only optimizing out of your ad spend, let's say you spend $5,000 a month on campaigns. Now you have Google optimizing your campaigns based on millions of dollars being spent on products with the same category, the same uh, characteristics, the same color, the same type. So what that means is you start off with a lot of advantage because Google already knows who to show the ads to. So Google will be very well targeted since the beginning. And as a consequence, you have more profitable ads since they start. Now, not having these codes, when you have these warnings of you don't have a GTIN code, what happens is Google don't know exactly what your product is and the optimization process takes much longer and it's much less efficient, efficient because you don't have uh, identifiers in place. Now, what are the next steps? Where to find your GTIN codes if you still don't have them? and how to properly add them to your Shopify store or Merchant Center account or both. Now, these two things we're going to be discussing in my next two videos, which you can find in the screen if I already posted them. If not, just wait one week, we'll have these videos posted as soon as possible. So for today's video, that was pretty much, I hope that was valuable. I hope that now if you don't have GTIN codes in place, you go ahead and upload them because they are going to be so, so, so crucial when it comes to optimizing your campaign. Thanks so much for your time today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.